Hey guys, it's Z from Deep Divine Guidance here for the Lunar Eclipse Full Moon reading in Gemini. So you're going to get the reading, but you're also going to get the energy healing to go along with this full moon, which is good to use in any of your full moon rituals. This is a really powerful moon. I do feel like the energy is going back and forth, okay? Um, you might be very driven and focused and excited and then you might be in fear and sabotage and depression right anxiety like it can go like every hour is different so just be aware of that there's nothing wrong with you it's just the energies um so just be aware of that okay so you are going to get the energy healing to help you release that all right, and if you haven't, just make sure you hit that subscribe button. I do have a Black Friday special um, on sale right now. You can call it Cyber Monday, whatever you want to call it. But I had a lot of um, people reach out to me and request more time for the Black Friday special that I did, which was a Reiki Master Bundle. So you can learn Reiki 1 and 2 and also Reiki Master in 1, and it's 80% off. So it's only $99 for these uh, really three courses, okay? So if you're interested in learning that, you can find that in the description box below. All right, and it's only available to Monday at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Yeah, definitely could be rocky. Let me know if that's what you're feeling in the comments. Um, a little bit of rockiness, a little bit of back and forth, a little bit of what the hell is happening? <laughs> what is going on? Let me need one more card here. All right, so let's get into it here. So we've got the Four of Pentacles. So this is about not trusting. Now we're coming to the end of the year, and I've been saying this in a lot of readings, is that I just feel like this end of the year is so crucial for us to be on point. This isn't the time for you to give up. This isn't the time for you to back down. This isn't the time for you to um, put it off. Okay, so just realize, and there's right here with the Four of Pentacles, this is about not trusting. So you're not trusting the universe right now is what I'm getting. You might not be trusting yourself right now, but you've got to hold strong. And even if 2020 wasn't the year that, you know, you thought it was going to be, obviously with everything that happened, there was a reason for everything happening. Okay. As we move into other energy, we've got the Queen of Swords, we've got the Ace of Cups, we've got the Eight of Pentacles, and we've got the Queen of Wands. Now, this is amazing energy, right? And this is, the cards are showing what exactly what I just said about being up and down, going back and forth, because this is about having boundaries. This is about a new beginning, working hard at it, Queen of Wands. So this is about, you know, um, you, if you have like a business or an entrepreneur, like this is for you. This is like, you've done the work, you have put in the time. And if you're not reaping the benefits yet, it's like, hold tight and don't give up. This is not the time to quit. It's not the time to give up because it is coming and all the work and they're, they're bringing that, you know, manifestation in. And when you're manifesting, there's a delay time, right? So you've got to wait for you to reap the benefits of all the hard work that you put in. They're also addressing that this is more than just work for you. This could be in family life. It could feel like everything is not going the way it is, but trust in the universe that it is going that way, okay? You've got this new beginning. You're working hard and you, you're the queen of wands. So, and again, masculine or feminine energy there, but, or gender, I should say, but Realize that just keep going. It's like they're bringing that um, um, Nemo, right? It's like, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. We've got the Page of Cups. We've got the Five of Pentacles. We've got the Ten of Swords. And we've got the Knight of Swords. So this, again, really good energy. Like this is, I will say that this is your intuition. This is your higher self here. This is your higher self knowing that if you just keep doing what you're doing, um, you are going to get somewhere. You are going to evolve. You are going to change. This could even be a healing journey for you. Please remember these are general readings. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But this could be anything. But your, your intuition and your higher self knows that this is possible for you. This is all your ego. Okay. And again, this is why we're going back and forth and up and down one day or one hour. Like, yes, we can take on the world. And the next hour, it's like everything's falling to shit. 
So we've got the Page of Cups. We've got the Five of Pentacles. So again, taking the time out, feeling left out in the cold, things completely ending, all right? And Knight of Swords, really rocky. So again, this can feel like a lot of you might be going through that tower moment right now. Things might be shifting. And I'm telling you, I said this in the beginning of the pandemic where it's like, we're supposed to learn lessons through this. And now with everything kind of creeping up again, I don't know where you're located, but where I'm located, it's all creeping up again. We're all starting that next round. Um, and it might feel like, how can I do this after what I've been through? But I want you to realize that you are divine energy and that you can take on whatever you choose to and that the power of your mind is what is going to bring you through and releasing and knowing your energy as well. It's why we're going to do this energy healing here. But realize that there might be stuff that is ending for you. It might be jobs. It might be relationships. It might be friendships, um, <clears throat> even other situations, right? But realize that it's not about you and they're bringing up a lot of triggers here. So whatever's falling apart right now for you, it's not about you. We take things personally. I'm going to go ahead and pull these cards right here because these are my four agreement cards. And one of the agreements is, you know, don't take anything personally and whatever's falling down around you, whatever is ending, it's meant to end. And I feel as though it was meant to end a really long time ago, but either there was something off, either you were scared, you didn't, you know, um, you were trying to hold on to something, <clears throat> but, uh, it's time to let it go. Okay. We have here, don't make assumptions. And it says discern the truth. So the agreement here is don't make assumptions. And it says the problem with making assumptions is that we believe they are the truth. We make an assumption. We misunderstand. We take it personally. Then we react by sending emotional poison with our word. This creates a whole big drama for nothing. So again, taking it personally. So whatever is falling down here, do not assume that you know why. Do not assume that you understand what the other person is going through. Just focus on you and how to move through it, okay? No drama. We've got over here nature signs. So be receptive to the subtle messages from nature as you go about your day. Nature talks to us continually. We need only open our hearts and our minds. So again, you know, nature is beautiful. Get out there. Even if it's cold, embrace the cold. If you don't like the cold, embrace the heat. If you don't like the heat, get yourself uncomfortable, but be out there in nature. Ground yourself. Take your shoes off. Work, walk on the ground. Walk in the grass. Work, walk on the dirt <clears throat> and really just ground yourself at this time. We also have, <clears throat> excuse me, we also have solitude. Think of being alone as meaning you are all one and in total harmony with everything. The greatest treasures are those that wait silently during your quiet times. So <clears throat> if you guys haven't seen it, I did a talk with um, Avaya on Avaya University about loneliness and depression. So if you are feeling alone, you definitely want to make sure you check that out. I'll, leave, I'll post it on in the description box below as well. But the greatest treasures is that you wait silently during your quiet times. So being alone is a good time to connect to the divine. It's a good time to connect to your higher self. It's a good time to understand yourself a lot more as well. So in these times where there are maybe more shutdowns, realize that that time alone that you have is actually a gift for you. So use it wisely. And we also have precious time. The fairy of time wants you to experience every moment fully and to make the most of your precious time. Be mindful not to waste others' time either, okay? So again, did you learn the lessons? Are you learning the lessons? Are you taking the time that you have in order to further your healing, in order to further your, um, your, your mind, your connection, your spirituality? Are you taking that time? <clears throat> okay, so we have the eight of coins, which is talent and skills. So this is about you understanding that, you know, you have this ability to get yourself through this. You have the ability to go after what you want. It's the ego that's holding you back from doing it. Your consciousness, your higher self knows 
where you can go because she's already there right but it's all this bs that you've been through in the past this is that childhood stuff that i talk about a lot this is all holding you back it's not trusting yourself because of maybe times that you have failed in the past but you need to trust yourself and you need to go after what you are feeling called to do okay whatever that may be for you and this came up reversed so i'm going to leave it reversed but this is the two of swords and it says balanced restored or resolution so again with this full moon lunar eclipse energy it is shaking it up it is really shaking you up um especially if you haven't learned those lessons especially if you are unaware and you're living with your eyes closed as to really what's going on underneath the surface of your emotions this is shaking it up for you here and this is allowing things to come up so that they can be released and again like i said we're going to do some energy healing in one minute all right, let's see what questions we need to ask ourselves during this lunar eclipse. And please remember, and they're actually telling me that the energies for this moon is going to be a little bit longer. So not just the three days prior and three days after, but I'm hearing the, the number five. So definitely if you're seeing this video or any other videos, or even if you're not seeing videos, um, definitely five days before and five days after, you can definitely use this healing and also these messages with the energy of this moon. Let's see. All right, so we've got two questions to ask ourselves, and I want you to ask yourself these questions during our healing, all right? We've got, am I in my head or in my heart? And this says, what is the quality of your self-talk? Our brain is like a muscle. If we condition it daily, the fears and limitations will take over. Mastering our thoughts is about being the creator of our own life. Where your head meets your heart is where miracles happen. And today's soul action is today master your mind. Watch an inspiring video, do some tapping, read an empowering book, or write out all the reasons why you believe in yourself and your dreams. So Spirit is really confirming this, is really kind of pushing it hard with you guys here, is to get out of your head. Get out of your head and into your heart but also get out of your head and into your higher self, all right? There's so much more that you are able to do. I don't care where you are in life. I don't care how much money you have, where you live. Like, it doesn't matter. It is in your mind that creates your reality. And I, I see this time and time again. Am I afraid to be seen is the other question you want to ask yourself. The world doesn't want you to hold back any longer. Time to shine your unique light on the world. You were made from love, and from love you are whole. There is no more hiding. There is no more shame. There is only truth. Live naked and free. Today's sole action is what parts of me do I hide so I can be socially accepted and fit in? Am I being authentic? Do I allow myself to be all of me? What do I need to feel so I can be safe to be seen? Journal your answers. So definitely go back and rewatch that and journal that after this, okay? But are you afraid to be seen? And it says here, there's no more hiding, right? And we talk about this a lot in, in my courses because of spirituality. And we're afraid to let people know how spiritual we are. This is like something to be ashamed of. I remember I did a post on my personal Facebook page where I came out of the closet. I came out of my spiritual closet. But so many people are ashamed to say that they're on the spiritual enlightenment journey and because it's been frowned upon for so long. So are you afraid to be seen? Are you hiding parts of yourself? When you're hiding those parts of yourself, you're never able to step into this higher self because the higher your higher self is not going to hide that from anybody, right? Um, and I did this for a really long time. And now like you're even going to see some changes on my channel coming up in December because I'm done with this. I'm done hiding. Like this is the best thing for anybody to really enlighten themselves spiritually, to understand themselves more, to connect to a divine energy. So stop being afraid to be seen. And maybe when you are seen, you are then going to help people move forward for them to actually heal and evolve and enlighten themselves and to be seen themselves because a lot of us are hiding hiding our past hiding things that we're ashamed of 
hiding events that we don't want to talk about and we're afraid and we we don't want to we just hide and in hiding you're alone right there that's where that loneliness is because you feel as though nobody can ever accept you for who you truly are and there's a lot of people in this world that will accept you for who you truly are no matter what that is what you do what behaviors what you think there's a lot of people that are also hiding but if we could just all start speaking out and stop being afraid to be seen this world can start to come together okay so that was a little bit of a channeled message there um, so let's go ahead and, and do the energy healing along with this. All right, so I realize I do not have my music ready. I guess we're going to do some breath work, all right? And let's go ahead and keep channeling this through, all right? So close your eyes. And if you've ever done energy work with me before, all you're going to do is just close your eyes. You're going to listen to me. And whatever thoughts come in, whatever you feel, just let it go. Let it out. doesn't matter. Uh, go ahead and take a deep breath out. Take a deep breath in. And go ahead and let it out. And one more time, take a deep breath in. And let it out. And one more time, take a deep breath in. We're going to call your spirit guides to be with you here to help you release the fears. Release the fears. And go ahead and let that out. Any fears that you have inside, they are there to keep you safe. You don't need that safety anymore. When you believe in the universe and you trust in the universe and you trust in yourself and you trust in your spirit guides, just keep breathing in and out. Your fears are your safety net. But with everything that you've been through and how strong you really are, there's no need for that safety net anymore. You can let those fears go. And you can start to follow your intuition more. Deep breath in there, please. And let that out. Everything that you have believed up until now. Everything that you think you are or are not is not the truth. You know the truth. But sometimes it's hard to see. And sometimes it's hard to believe. Divine energy is running through you. We are all made in the same place. We all have the same energy. Take a deep breath there. It's time to let go. Let go of the beliefs. Let go of the fears. That society has put on you. Most of those fears are not yours. Most of those fears have come from other people in your life telling you what is acceptable, what is right, what is wrong. But right here, right now, it's time for you. Time for you to believe what you want to believe. To push aside all of those beliefs, all of those fears that come from other people and to stand in your truth, to stand in your own beliefs, to release the energy that has been stuck for so long, feeling like you don't belong, feeling like you're not accepted, for who you really are. Feeling like you'll never find someone that truly accepts you for who you are. It's time to release those fears. It's time to stand up st tall. Stand up strong. And let anything that you're holding on to go. It's 
time to release. It doesn't have to be this way. You can let go. You can understand yourself more. You can believe in yourself more. You can love yourself more. And with this lunar eclipse energy, all those things that are coming up for you right now, all of that energy that you feel, it's time to let go of the scary parts. It's time to embrace the scary parts. It's time to not be afraid. It's time to go after what you want. It's time to see yourself as the divine being that you are. It's time to believe. And take a deep breath in. And blow it out. And take another deep breath in. And go ahead and let it out. Thank the angels for being with us today. I'm going to go ahead and pull one more card. Let's go. There's one more message that is needed for us today. Let me know how that felt down in the comments below. That made sense. I know we're used to music, but everything happens for a reason. Maybe you needed to hear those words today. And we got demonstrate love. Find out what is important to the people you love and act on it. Now, I challenge you to take this back to yourself. Because most of the times when we ask ourselves, who do we love? We're not on that list. So find out what is important to you. Find out what your beliefs are. How you feel love. How you can show yourself love when nobody else does. And start to act on that. And when you find that love, and a lot of people, especially women and moms, like we feel guilty for showing ourselves love because we want to show it to everybody else. And usually there's nothing left for you. But this is the time, especially this month, this is the time for you to show and act on that love for yourself. And you will see that when you find that love within you, then everyone else around you will feel even more love from you. Because you're coming from a different place, you're coming from a different energy. So act on that love for yourself. All right, I hope this resonated with you. Again, if you are, um, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this style of reading and energy healing. And if you are interested in learning how I just did that with the Reiki, um, you can sign up for the Cyber Monday bonus special of the Reiki 1, 2, and the Master so you can e even teach it, okay? So much love to all of you. Um, what I want to say is with the ups and the downs and the energy, just accept it and embrace it. Do not try to resist it. And ask yourself, what is this showing me? What is it showing me? All right, so much love to you. Happy full moon. I know that it doesn't seem happy, but these are, this is the energy. These are the readings that help you evolve and help you grow and help you move forward. All right, so much love to you. If you haven't already, you can follow me over in Facebook. You can find everything in the description box below. Much love. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.